$1,000 worth of gifts and goods online. That's according to CNBC. 11 Alive's Tracy Amy Pierce shows us how local small business owners are now trying to keep up. Here on Atlanta's west side, dozens of small businesses use this one warehouse to ship and receive their products. Business owners telling me this four-day stretch between Black Friday and Cyber Monday can make or break their year. You are very thankful for the orders, and it's also kind of a pinch me moment where you're like, wow. Bree Fullerton is the founder and CEO of Shinery, an Atlanta small business that creates a hand wash that cleans your jewelry. She says they fulfilled thousands of orders over the last few days. So we prep all year for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and this is like our Super Bowl in retail. Shinery is one of 62 local businesses using Saltbox on the west side a shared warehouse to ship and receive their products, and a very busy spot on Cyber Monday, with extra staff unloading deliveries, fulfilling orders and packing products, and delivery trucks coming and going. Just a few warehouse suites away, Michael Gottfried, another small business owner, was busy unloading boxes of pickleball equipment. He says they've been planning for this weekend since June. We don't want to go out of stock. We also want to make sure that it arrives on time. These small business owners tell me the last few years have made them much more flexible and adaptive. We've ridden the COVID wave. We've ridden the inflation wave, the shipping wave. Um, so all of those, you know, business forces that um, are hard to deal with. And they've also made them thankful for a busy shopping weekend and the year ahead. Well, it's, again, the temperature of how our year is going to be, kind of make or break season. Now, if you didn't order gifts this weekend, keep in mind the cutoff date to order gifts to make sure they arrive on time for Christmas with USPS ground shipping is December 15th. On the West Side, I'm Tracy A. McPeer, 11 Alive News.